watch time or the number of minutes that people spend watching your videos is the most important metric on your YouTube channel. The higher your watch time, the more successful your YouTube channel will be. But in order to generate watch time, your video titles and especially your video thumbnails have to do a good job of convincing your potential viewers to actually click on your videos to watch them. So you can argue that click-through rate or the number of times that your video titles and thumbnails are shown to people versus how many times that they're actually clicked is just as important as watch time. You can have the best video in the entire world, but if no one clicks on your thumbnail to actually watch it, then it doesn't matter. This can be unfortunate if you lack talent in graphic design, like I do. But if you don't know how to use Photoshop, don't worry, I've got you covered. Hey everyone, Heather here, your YouTube coach. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create engaging thumbnails using a free graphic design tool called Canva. Let's get started. The first thing you'll wanna do is make sure that your YouTube account is verified so you can actually upload custom thumbnails in the first place. If you're not sure whether your account is verified or not, head on over to youtube.com slash verify. Once you verify your account, you'll automatically be able to upload custom thumbnails whenever you upload a new video. Next, we'll head on over to canva.com or you can actually download the Canva app on your phone so we can actually create the graphic. Canva has a YouTube thumbnail template that's set as the appropriate size, but if you're creating something from scratch, the image dimensions can either be 1920 by 1080 pixels or 1280 by 720 pixels. Now, you'll see that Canva has a lot of template options to choose from, but before you build off of one of these, here are a few tips for creating YouTube thumbnails. First, you'll want to use a high quality photo of your subject of your video as the base of your thumbnail. Obviously, if you're talking about a particular object, that's the thing that you want to highlight in your photo. But for me and my thumbnails, I am the person who's doing all of the teaching and the talking. So I just take a picture of myself, but I have my facial expression try to match the text that I'm going to have overlaid on top of the image, which brings me to my next point. Use text overlays to add context. When you're adding text to a thumbnail, you want to make sure that you're not wasting this opportunity by using the exact same text as your title. Your thumbnail and your title work in tandem as a team. So like when people are scrolling through YouTube, they're, they're going to read both of the title and the thumbnail and, and they're going to use both to decide whether to actually click on that video or not. So you want to try to use text that actually complements your title rather than just repeats it. Lastly, you want to try to brand your thumbnails or come up with some signature look so that your subscribers can automatically recognize that that's your content just by looking at it. Maybe you add a logo or maybe you use certain colors every time, whatever it is. Just remember that you can always update or edit your thumbnails. So if you don't have a branded look yet, don't worry. All right, let's get back to Canva. You can use one of Canva's templates to the left here. I'm actually gonna show you how I'm creating the custom thumbnail for this YouTube video that you're watching. So I usually just build off of a previous thumbnail I've already created. So I'll delete this picture here. I've already taken a separate photo to use as the base of my thumbnail. So there it is, me holding up my thumbnails. <laughs> and I'm just gonna adjust this to be the size of the image. Um, and I'm going to crop it accordingly. Let's see, all right. So that's uh, a little bit of what we've got. I'll play with the layers a little bit. So it's gonna look something like this. Um, I have the text prepared already when I come up with the title of the thumbnail, because again, we want them to work in tandem. So for this one, it's going to be how to create and add custom thumbnails. And you'll see my boxes are falling away, but that's basically, I would have to come back and drag them all up. I don't even know where they went, but basically these black boxes, I, I wanna make it as easy to read as possible. So obviously I'm gonna move those up and adjust them to be behind each row. I mean, you're not gonna need to know how to do this unless this is the look you're going for, but I just have this black box here and I adjust it to be the width of the row. And then I bring the text back up to the front. So it looks like that, but that would be a pain to show you in this tutorial. So here is an image where I already did that and I adjusted the color just to make it pop a little bit more. Um, the other thing I'm going to add is because I'm going to highlight the fact that this was made in Canva. Um, if I search for Canva in Canva, they have 
um, some branding here that I can add. So made in Canva, this is cool. I can kind of add this here. It'd be cool if that would pop off, pop off from the side, but um, let me see if this would fit. No. Hmm. I don't know, maybe, oh here. Oh, yay, cool. So I'll just add that here. That kind of looks a little busy, something like that. And I usually put the YouTube logo, especially if I'm talking about something YouTube specific. So you can search for a bunch of logos, just type it here in the search bar and there's free and premium stuff, but usually their free stuff is pretty good. So I think this is what my thumbnail is pretty much gonna look like. So when I'm done, I'm gonna hit download and I'm only gonna download the image that I need, which is on page 10. And that'll download a PNG file to my computer. All right, once I have the file downloaded, I'll go to my YouTube studio and I'm going to just upload a, a whatever video for now. Let's do this. Okay, so here's the upload page. When you scroll towards the bottom, here are the thumbnails that YouTube is going to auto generate and here's where you can add your custom thumbnail. So I'm gonna click on this and then add the file we just created and that'll upload. You won't be able to see this button if your account is not verified. So make sure to go through that step, but you'll see that now it's uploaded. Um, it probably won't display until the file is further along in the upload process, but before you hit publish, you can check whether your custom thumbnail is actually selected because it'll display as a preview here. I cannot emphasize the importance of thumbnails enough. It can really be a frustrating part of the process because to me, the video making part is a lot more fun than spending time creating a thumbnail, but it is essential to getting people to actually watch your videos in the first place. So when you're creating a thumbnail and you're coming up with different options, you can ask yourself these three questions. Does it pique interest? Does it look good? And does it accurately convey the content that's in the video? Do not clickbait because when you clickbait, it results in bounce rate, as in people watch the first five seconds of your video, realize that it's not what they were expecting based on the title and thumbnail that they saw. So they abandon the page, they close out the window and they leave. High bounce rate will work against you. So don't give in to that temptation. There's definitely ways that you can pique interest and make it look good without not being accurate to the content. And speaking of taking high quality photos, check out this tutorial where I walk you through how to take lifestyle photos for your personal branding. I'm Heather and I believe that everybody has a story worth sharing. Share your story, spark your potential. Catch you guys later, bye.